Sometimes we have a list of numbers in various formats, such as radicals, fractions, or decimals, and we're asked to order these from lowest to highest value. We're asked to arrange these numbers from lowest to highest value. Notice they're in several different formats, which makes it impossible to compare their values the way they are. To make these easy to compare, we can use a calculator to convert all of these to approximate decimal numbers. The square root of 5 64ths is approximately 0.28. The cube root of 0 0.0328 is approximately 0 0.32. 0 0.27 is already in decimal form and is just 0.27. The fraction 5 16ths is approximately 0.31 and the fourth root of 0 0.01186 is approximately 0.33. Now that we have all these numbers in decimal format, we need to arrange them in order. Comparing these, the smallest one is 0.27, so that will go in the first box. Slightly higher than 0.27 is 0.28, so that will go into the second box. The next highest is 0.31, so that will move to the third box. The next higher value is 0.32, which will move to the fourth box. And the largest value is 0.33, so that will be in the last box. Pause the video and check these, and you'll see that they are in order from smallest to largest. Now that they're in order, we must change them back to their original format. 0.27 was originally the decimal 0.27, so we'll just write 0.27 here. 0.28 was converted from the square root of 5 64ths. So we'll change 0.28 back to the square root of 5 64ths. 0.31 was converted from the fraction 5 16ths. So we'll convert it back to 5 16ths and write it down here under the 0 0.31. 0 0.32 was converted from the cube root of 0 0.0328. So we'll change it back to its original form and write it down here. The decimal 0.33 was converted from the fourth root of 0 0.01186. So we'll convert it back and write it down here. Now we have the original numbers arranged in order from smallest to largest. We'll show it like this, indicating the order. Sometimes a given list may contain roots of perfect squares, roots of perfect cubes, or other roots you may have memorized, such as the 4 through 16, etc. Recognizing these can save you some time when ordering lists. For these, you don't need to use a calculator. We're given another list of numbers in various formats, and we're asked to arrange them in order from lowest to highest value. In order to compare the values of these, they must all be in the same format, so we convert them all to decimal numbers. You will probably recognize that the square root of 121 is the square root of a perfect square. The square root of 121 is just 11. You may also recognize the cube root of 1000 as being the cube root of a perfect cube. The cube root of 1000 is just 10. You can also see that 10.39 is already in decimal form. So it can just be copied down here. So we had three numbers we didn't need a calculator for. Now we'll use a calculator to convert the rest into approximate decimal numbers. The square root of 325 over 3 can be converted to approximately 10.41. The fraction 31 over 3 can be converted to approximately 10.33. And using a calculator to take the fourth root of 9.8 times 10 to the third, gives us an approximate value of 9.95. Now we have all the numbers in decimal form. Now that they're all in the same format, we can arrange them in order. The smallest of these is 9.95, so that can be moved to the first box. The next number in order is 10, so that can be moved to the second box. The next highest one after 10 is 10.33, so that can be copied into the third box. Slightly higher than 10.33 is 10.39, so
so that can be moved to the fourth box. Slightly higher than 10.39 is 10.41, so that can be moved to the fifth box. The largest number in our list is 11, so that can be moved to the last box. So now we have the decimal numbers arranged in order from smallest to largest. Pause the video and check to see that these are in the correct order. The last step is to change these decimal numbers back to their original format. 9.95 was converted from the fourth root of 9.8 times 10 to the third. So we'll write the fourth root of 9.8 times 10 to the third down here under the 9.95. 10 was converted from the cube root of 1000. So we'll write the cube root of 1000 down here under the 10. 10.33 was converted from the fraction 31 over 3. So we'll write the fraction 31 over 3 down here. 10.39 was originally a decimal number. So we'll write it as it is down here. The decimal number 10.41 was converted from the square root of 325 over 3. So we'll write the square root of 325 over 3 down here. And finally, 11 was converted from the square root of 121. So we'll write the square root of 121 down here under the 11. Now we have the original list ordered from smallest to largest value. And we can show it like this to indicate the order. So if you're given a list of numbers in various formats and you're asked to arrange them in order from lowest to highest value, start by converting all the numbers to decimal numbers. If you recognize any perfect squares, perfect cubes, or other roots you may have memorized, you can convert these directly. For other numbers, use a calculator to determine the approximate decimal numbers. Usually these can be rounded to two decimal places. Decimal numbers are all in the same format, so they're easy to compare. So at this point, arrange the decimal numbers in order from lowest to highest value. Because you were asked to order the original list of numbers, in the last step you must convert them back to their original format keeping the order you determined in the previous step.